the sheer audacity to come before this committee, complain that refusing to show up until the end of May isn't avoiding accountability, and then insisting that more support from government is necessary while millions of Canadians are struggling and thousands of your workers are laid off boggles the mind. But let's take a moment to look at the facts, not the ones on the Facts Matter website combating fake news. And I have a, 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 a copy here, especially point number 10, directed at us, members of the committee, uh, clarifying why you told us it would take almost three, uh, um, almost three months for you to show up here. The reality is that government regulates your industry, both in terms of broadcasting and telecommunications. And this committee oversees that work. Uh, we were clear, and we have been clear, that you needed to be here much sooner. So let's get to the, the main issues of today. Over an eight-month period, Bell eliminated 6,000 jobs, including February's announcement of 4,800 job cuts. At the same time, you announced an increase in dividend checks for shareholders. You claim that Bell was forced into the decision to fire so many workers because the federal government has been slow to de deliver help. You've been quoted as saying, we continue to face a difficult economy and government and regulatory decisions that undermine investment in our networks, fail to support our media business in a time of crisis, a time of crisis. Where I come from, a crisis is wildfires, is thousands of people losing their jobs, kind of like the ones that used to work for Bell Media that you fired. Who's in crisis, Mr. Bibic? You, with your millions of dollars of compensation, or the workers you just fired? Again, with respect to dividends, these dividends my, my question is about the Canadians crisis. Who's, each and every, who, each and every who's in crisis? Is it you or, or the workers, the thousands of workers that you laid off? What's undeniable is that the Canadian media ecosystem is in, is in crisis, and, and, and one can only need to ask post media and salt wire and print journalism in the country and our, our direct traditional media companies. Thank you, Mr. Bibic. Uh, I think uh, it would be good to hear from uh, what well, we've all heard from Bell Media workers that have lost their jobs, and uh, I think it's pretty clear that they're the ones facing the crisis.